All right, so we're going to finish our march down the help help row here. So we saw videos. Um, now we can click on animation. Animation, it, there you go. I don't know if you can hear all that, but um, it gives you like a little mini lecture of um, this type of topic or this concept. Then there's the Ask My Instructor feature. Um, just a heads up, not every instructor uses this. Um, a lot of them do. But it allows you to email this particular question to your instructor. And also as a heads up, it's not a really great idea to just be like, oh, I don't get it, you know, because that, you want to help your instructor help you. <laughs> so you want to explain things like, you know, I've got it correct up till the last step, but I'm not sure what to do with blah, 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 right? You want to give your instructor something to go off of, making it easier for them to help you. Okay, and then it sends them an email and they can reply back to you. And when they reply back, it's going to go to the email that you put into your account. So remember that if, if you, it's not an email account that's working, you're not going to get any email. So make sure that you double check. Um, you can double check it right here in the My Account feature or you can go back to the My Pearson page and look at your profile. But either way, you want to make sure that your email account is a working account. Okay, so that's the Ask My Instructor feature. I'm going to close it because we don't want to do it. And then last but not least in the help menu is the print. So um, you can print just a question. So if there's one question in particular that's giving you a hard time, you can print it and take it into your instructor and talk to them about it. Or you could print the whole assignment. That's a really nice feature, especially if you don't have a computer at home that has um, fast internet connection. You can go to school, print out the assignment, then take it and do all the problems at home and when you come back to campus you can just enter in all the answers. That's also a great way to work with a tutor. So you have a tutor you can, or in, um, for that matter in the Center for Student Success, you can print them out and then work with a tutor on those problems and then go back in and, and type in the answers. You probably won't get every single thing correct but you'll get most of them correct and that's a good thing. Alright, so that's the print feature. Very, very handy. So the next thing I wanted to show you after, um, since we've seen all the help menu items, I want us to see the homework just a little bit and the quizzes. So I say OK. And I want you to see what it's like to do a quiz. So um, you can see here, I've already attempted this quiz once before. Um, I can see the score. Hold on. And then let me click on it. And I'm ready to start. And if I do it again and I do better this time, I'm going to get a better score better grade, a better score. Um, not every quiz, of course, would be like this, but then since this one had infinitely many options, um, that's going to work. Now notice what's missing here. What you don't see is the help menu features. Um, you can make it bigger and smaller just like before. You can use the arrows just like before. Um, it's showing you the yellow rings. You can see which problem you're on. You've still got the symbol palette available to you. But when you're done, you're going to type things like, um, excuse me, you're going to press submit rather than pressing save. Um, the other thing you might notice is that it's not telling you how many parts you have to each question. That information, I'm sorry my friends, is not for you. <laughs> so I can see there's 10 questions total. I can see that it's worth 50 points. Each question's worth 5 points and so on. Okay, so let me just type an answer in here. I honestly didn't even look. Okay, so once you type answers, then you can click submit. It says, hey, you've got 9 out of questions. Do you want to submit it? I'm going to say yes, but of course, in general, you'd probably say no. You want to, to do everything you can. There we go. And it shows me everything that I didn't even do with the parentheses, and then there's the one that I did do. So I can go to results. I can see the test. There it is. Beautiful. That's my grade book. I'm going to close that window. I'm going to go back to take a quiz again and I can click on it again and it'll let me retake it. Cool, huh? Alright, so and that's only an option because there are infinitely many times. The other thing to notice is that if you do submit an empty test, which I'm going to in a second, yep, that's okay. Um, an empty quiz, it gives you this and then you can review it and go in and see all the correct answers, which would be a good way to help you study, of course, for your next quiz or your next test or your face-to-face -face quiz and test. Okay? All right, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Of course, post comments to me on YouTube if you need to see more or need something else answered.